our loving and generous God. We praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us mind that can know and heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making difference into the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Hello! Welcome to TLE class. I'll be your teacher, Mr. Oliver Narag. Here are the rules in our online class. Rule number one, be prompt. Be in your online class 10 to 15 minutes before the call begins. Rule number two, check your internet connection and your devices before the start of the online class. Rule number three, find a quiet and comfortable place to study and keep your things nearby. Rule number four, dress appropriately. No sleeveless, no topless, no wearing of shorts when attending the virtual class. Rule number five, turn off your microphone when someone is speaking or when it is not yet your turn to speak. Rule number six, turn on your camera so that your teacher and classmate can see you. Rule number seven, pay attention while your teacher is discussing or while your classmate is speaking. Rule number eight, be respectful. Avoid doing things that may disrupt your teacher and classmates. Rule number 9. Use the chat box appropriately. Post your comments or questions that are only related to the lesson. Rule number 10. Participate actively. Answer when your teacher calls your name. Rule number 11. Do the different tasks online and submit your requirements on time. Rule number 12. Be safe online. Do not give your password and your personal information to anyone. Thank you. Happy learning. Happy learning class! How are you doing today? I hope you're all good. Please stay home and keep safe. I'm Sir Oliver Narag. Welcome to our video lesson in TLE9 Illustration. For our most essential learning competencies, For our most essential learning competencies, number one, identify the meaning of hatching and cross hatching. Number two, create hatching and cross hatching objects as linear drawing techniques. And number three, appreciate the importance of hatching and cross hatching in drawing. Reminders ready your TLE Illustration 9 module and get your notebook and ball pen to take down notes while watching this video. Before we start our lesson for the day, let's have an activity. Open your module on page 10, activity 1. What you're going to do is to fill the following figures with successive lines inside them to make them look like leaves and flowers in the garden. After that, write a brief description below each figure. You have 2 minutes to finish the activity. Good luck!
In our activity, we use linear drawing techniques. And that is related to our topic for today. Today, we're going to discuss or to talk about hatching and cross-hatching. Hatching and cross-hatching are linear drawing techniques that can be used to create texture, value, and the illusion of form and light. Typically used as an application technique when the medium is in linear in nature. Hatching and cross-hatching are often used together. Both techniques work well with a variety of different drawing mediums, including pen and ink, graphite, colored pencils, and pastels. Hatching and cross-hatching can also be found in traditional printmaking techniques such as etching and engraving. Some artists prefer to use either hatching or cross-hatching in a specific drawing to create harmony. Most often, however, the two techniques are used together in the same drawing or painting. While using hatching and cross-hatching in a drawing, they create a variety of textures. The technique is mostly used to create full range of value. The placement of values within the work leads to the illusion of the form of the subject as well as the illusion of the defined light source. Hatching is created when non-crossing lines are used to indicate the value on or around an object. The value added to the object is dependent on the location of a light source. More marks are added in the areas of core shadow and cast shadow, while less marks should exist in lighter areas. So it means if you want to make that area darker, you need to put more lines on that para magmukha siyang uh, madilim. So maraming shade or lines ang ilalagay. But if you want that area make uh, lighter, yung, kumbaga para tinatamaan siya ng liwanag, konti lang yung uh, lines o yung mga, uh, mga shade na ilalagay mo to make that area lighter. When hatching is used, the lines drawn generally go in the same directions and are most parallel with each other. Sometimes, the lines may curve slightly or even a great bit depending on the contours of the object. Lines of this nature are referred to as cross-contour lines. Cross-contour lines can further the illusion of form by giving the viewer information about the actual three-dimensional qualities of the object. By changing the frequency of the use of line and the amount of space between the lines, the artist can create a full range of value in the drawing. Assuming that an artist is working on the white paper, more space between the lines, more paper showing, will lead to the lighter values in the drawing. Less space between lines will naturally lead to darker values in the drawing. When cross-hatching is used, the artist may begin adding value as hatching, but then allow the lines to cross over each other. The more that lines cross over to each other, the darker value it becomes. That is why kapag mas maraming lines ang nag-cross over to each other, mas nagiging darker ngayon yung part ng inyong drawing. Many artists approach the addition of crossing lines as a science. Following a specific order or vertical lines, followed by horizontal lines, followed by diagonal lines, and so on. This method produces very deliberate and controlled marks that are very exact and precise. Others simply cross the lines at random, leading to looser drawings. Some looser approaches work better for some subjects, while more rigid approaches are suitable for other subjects. How hatching and cross-hatching is used in drawing is limitless. The artist can choose to make marks in any manner that they choose. Variation in marks. They may also combine linear techniques to create a variety of textures or patterns. The arrangement of patterns can add interest to a drawing as well as push the tonal qualities. Hatching and cross-hatching with pencil. As mentioned before, hatching and cross-hatching can be used for applying a variety of media. It is not just limited to pen and ink drawing. When the technique is used with a graphite pencil, the pressure becomes a factor in the development of values. The width and texture of the line can easily be manipulated. As with any drawing or painting, the cross-control lines of the subject must be considered. The marks that are applied must imply the form of the subject, which means that they should indicate or suggest the cross-contours of the form. In order to suggest the invisible cross contours, we need to apply the hatching and cross hatching in a manner that follows the form. This will be a series of marks that flow around the form. The next set of lines should continue the development of the cross contours. This development continues with each set of subsequent lines that are added. The direction, frequency, and the width of the lines are at the discretion of the artist. Ultimately, the marks should further the illusion of form. Failure to communicate the cross contours of the subject will lead to a flat drawing. 
what is a tonal range? The tone is the effect in a painting of light and shade, together with color. It is best learned using just one color because it is easier. Once you have established the tones in one color, it becomes easier to establish tonal values when you are drawing or painting using all the colors. Tone is crucial in drawing and painting. A tonal value means how dark or light something appears. We can see tones more clearly when a direct strong light falls on an object or subject. Kapag ang ilaw ay tumama galing sa primary light source, it is easy to see the shadows and highlights na nagagawa nito. We see the highlights where the light is shining directly on an object or subject as the lightest tones, sometimes pure white siya. We see the areas where the least light is hitting the subject or object like shadows. Between the shadow and highlights, we usually have lots of tones. After detailing or the adding details to the drawing or sketch, the last is the clean up. Clean up is the process of creating the final drawing you see in a finished work of art. It does not necessarily mean clean fine line. Clean up is a part of workflow in the production of hand-drawn illustrations, in which clean versions of the rough drawings are produced. The first drawings are called rough because they are often done in a very loose fashion. For your activity, answer test 2 on page 16 on your TLE Illustration 9 module. You have 5 minutes to do the activity. Good luck!
pagbabago Simulan mo sa sarili mo Tara na, bangun na Dapat lagi kang maaga Para marami ka pang magagawa Let's check your answers. Taranat sumama na, tayo'y magkaisa. Sumabay ka sa amin, maiiwanan ka. Ang oras ay ginto, huwag nang sayangin pa. Gamitin ng wasto, mag-project o watch na. Likas sa Pinoy Ang maging tapat Pagyamanin ibahagi Sa lahat Guru magulang at Mag-aaral Maging responsable We advocate time Consciousness and honesty For your assignment, answer page 15 On your TLE Illustration 9 module and that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented on your module. O kaya naman, pwede mong i-play ulit ang video na to that will be posted on our FB group. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations. See you soon on our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless. For your assignment, answer task 2 and task 3, page 32 on your TLE Illustration 9 module. If you have some question, wag mahiyang mag-message sa ating Facebook Messenger group chats. Taranat sumama na, tayo'y mag-
pagkaisa Sumabay ka sa amin maiiwanan ka Ang oras ay ginto, huwag nang sayangin pa Gamitin ng wasto, magproject o watch na Likas sa Pinoy, ang maging tapat Pagyamanin ibahagi sa lahat Guru magulang at mag-aaral Maging responsable we And that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented on your module. O kaya naman, pwede mong i-play ulit ang video na to that will be posted on our FB group. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations. See you soon on our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless.